Hi everybody. Um just doing some things on the back end here. As per usual. Just wanna make sure I've got my screen set up. I think I do. So yeah, um what I'm gonna do um this game called The Hunter, Call of the Wild. Never played it before. It was on sale on Steam for about five bucks, so I mean, for five bucks, why not give it a try, right? So here we go. I'm transitioning over. This is a total blind playthrough. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, it's It took a while to download. It's a 21 gigabyte game. Um, and my internet, as I always complain, is not the greatest. But uh, let's try a new game and see what happens here. All right, we get to choose our character. Uh, I guess we'll be a dude. Well, option one. Two, three, four, five, or six. <laughs> and I, I'd like to know what the difference between one and six is. I guess six is younger, maybe? They mostly look all the same. Um, reserved, Leighton Lake District. Leighton Lake District provides hunters from all over the world with a taste of the untamed wild with a few traces of civilization located in the Pacific Northwest. Hey, hooray! Uh, the area is predominantly covered by spruce, larch, and aspen forests. Rocky mountain slopes and marshlands in between. Plan your hunting trip carefully before taking on some of the most sought-after game, like the moose, the black bear, the Roosevelt elk, the white-tailed deer, the coyote, and the black-tailed deer. All right, well, let's give it a shot. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never hunted in real life, so it should be ah, interesting. You made it here in one piece. I did. Welcome to the Untamed Wild. <laughs> okay. Name's Colton Locke. Hey, Colton. But everyone calls me Doc. All right, Mr. Doc. I'm the warden up here, and I know just about every nook and cranny of this place. Okay. I heard this is your first time in the Pacific Northwest and Lake District. Well, Lake District, sure. Well, this here's the best hunting reserve you'll find in a hundred miles. hundred miles, wow. I've been hunting here my whole life, and I still don't get tired of this place. All right, well, you know, 100 miles in the Pacific Northwest ain't no big deal, dude. <laughs> you know, if, it, if you said it was a big, uh, the, you know, the coolest place in the, within 300 right. miles. There's a lot to discover out here. Not just the big game. Let's see what you can do. Try to find an animal track around here. All right. Got my, my handy dandy cell phone, I guess. What's auto move? Oh, all right. Well, auto move. All right then. Looks like standard campground. Hunter mate is used as a mini map. Oh, I see down there. I can also show you your current active mission. Press tab to bring out the hunter mate. Oh, there's my rifle. Ooh, I've got five bullets. It looks like. This is South Codex. You can find information on animals, reserve locations, and characters in the Codex. Kind of like the Pokemon guide. Let's see, how did he say? Is it C or? Oh, C is whistle. I forgot what he said how to open the Codex. Is it it's not G? Tab. It's tab, right? There it is. Okay, Colton. Uh, track down and harvest your first animal. Read more. Why? Okay, there he is. Oh, there he is. Wow. That's one impressive handlebar mustache, Mr. Doc. Um, locate a track, shoot an animal, harvest an animal. <laughs> Here's my map. It's loaded in. Looks like this is a trail I gotta follow, maybe? Um, a lookout point. Cool. Uh, mission log. That's where we're at. Inventory. Oh, wow. Look at this. We got a handgun, a shotgun, rifle, binoculars, a deer collar, a deer bleat collar, a jackrabbit collar, and a scent eliminator. Oh, all right. Uh, okay. Um, skills? Do I have any skills? No, not really. 
locate tracks is what I need to do. Uh, perks, none. Here's my codex. There it is. Pacific Northwest. <laughs> what people? What's people? Colton. Oh, there it is. Colton. I can't click on Mr. Colton. All right, Mr. Doc. Doc Lock. Kind of weird to say, but. Okay. Um, trophy Lodges. Oh, wow. Look at that. I must be some kind of rich dude. Uh, all right. All right. Well, okay. Oh, I can buy it. Oh, dang. Okay. Well, all right. We need to find something. Something. Something's going on. We got to find it. Visit a lookout point where we'll reveal points of interest and information around the surrounding area. Well, maybe this will just turn out to be hiking simulator. I live kind of more north than the Pacific Northwest, so a lot of these uh, leafy kind of trees I don't tend to see. Okay, holding shift runs. Looks like there's something here. What's this? These tracks? Alright, I found them. E, examine track. Tracks can reveal useful information about an animal, such as what species they are, whether they were calm or fleeing, and what direction they were headed. Alright, so it looks like they're headed that way. Uh, it's a white-tailed deer. White-tailed deer are often slightly bigger than the black tail. But they're quicker to flee if they sense danger. Alrighty. Got it. White-tailed deer. Headed this direction, and it was walking. Let's get out our rifle. Well, can we examine the track some more? Droppings. Very fresh. Well, I don't see nothing. Am I missing it? I hear something. Something's probably right behind me. <laughs> gonna say boo. <laughs> okay. Well, we don't see nothing. We see droppings. We see tracks. And unless I'm walking right up on top of this thing, I don't know if I'm gonna see it. Oh, more tracks. Is there a way to get this guy to walk more quietly? Good grief. Okay. Oh, looks like we've bedded down here. Active and inactive tracks. An active track belongs to the animal you are currently tracking. Inactive tracks belong to a new animal that you are not tracking. The color for active tracks is cyan. The default color for inactive tracks is white. Sounds like Richard's going to need a help in hand. How does that mean? What do you mean? Am I Richard? <laughs> Trot? White-tailed deer? Footprints Sorry, indicate... We got this full-blown survivalist fellow living out here all oh. year round. Richard Hope. He got in a bit of trouble, it seems. I can fill you in on the details later. Is that what I'm shooting right here? Oh, man. There. Use your binoculars to get a closer look. Well, how do I use binoculars? Nope. Scroll wheel. Nope. Nope. Animal collars. That's the deer, deer collar. There they are. Okay. I spotted him. Traveling, white-tailed deer, number one, trivial. Okay, he's cyan now. I'm not, <laughs> not going to shoot him with my handgun. Don't think I should use my shotgun. And I just scared the crap out of him. Yep. Be sure to aim for its vital organs. Heart and lung shots mean quicker kills. Less painful. Let's try again. I get him from way over here? Probably not. 
Dang it, I hit the wrong mouse button and I I shot the trigger. Okay. I hit B for binoculars. Does that work? No. Tab. Nope. What's the quick button for binoculars? Well, we got a survivalist wacko out here. You know, some crazy guy. Not all survivalists are wackos, by the way. But some this guy apparently is. Um, and we got uh Where'd that deer go? There are times when you'll want to be moving fast out here, but not when on a hunt. The animals will hear you coming a mile away. Wish there was a way to get my there it is. Binoculars out quicker. Hey. Okay. Stay low when you're stalking an animal. Yep. To avoid being seen. That's too low. Wanna crouch? Switching equipment. Switch weapons and equipment with number keys or the mouse scroll wheel. Okay. I don't see that deer. Stand up. So, three is the handgun. Two is the shotgun. One is the rifle. Four must be binoculars. Yes, it is. All right, nice hike through the woods, up a hill. Looking for that deer. Where is that son of a gun? Where is he? That little cheese on the lend? I can't really tell. Futurama reference. <laughs> oh, more deer crap. <laughs> well, I missed, I blew my first shot. I do this number. Oh, that's, that's too much. You can't see around the brush. Hey. This looks like a good spot to look. No. No. Examine tracks. We're still trotting. Nope. Oh, and of course, now it's raining. <laughs> well, rain often happens in the Pacific Northwest, I ain't gonna lie. That might that rain might be a little too loud though. Oh, hang on. System. Uh, audio. Okay, that's a little better. I can actually hear myself talk. Let me go one more on that. Okay. That's a little better. And let's find this deer. Okay. Nope. Where'd he go? Careful. The underbrush can be a bit noisy this time of year. If an animal hears you approaching, you better believe it'll turn tail and run. Or worse. 
What, attack me? I guess you do have to be wary of bears. I don't see the animal I was going after. All these white tracks, I guess, are different animals. I lost the uh, the cyan, the light blue. Warning call. Oh, I must have scared him off. Oh, Colton. Uh, unless you can scare the deer my way, I think this hunt is not going to go very good. We're just going to take a long, leisurely walk through the woods here. Fortunately, the rain let up. Oh, there's a rabbit track. Rabbit track? Can I see anything down here, this way? There's no way to zoom on... Oh, yes, there is. I was going to say, how do I zoom on binoculars? You just use the scroll wheel. And it looks like, is that the jackrabbit track? Or is that my deer track? It's down there. Well, already I'm getting a little lost. Oh, nope. Oh. I almost got stuck on the boulder. Oh, I can't see nothing. And the animal has seen you, or an animal. Lower your movement speed. Well, oh, darn it. All right, well, I've been spotted. Now, this little tracker, my little compass, um, let's see, is that telling me anything? Okay, underneath my binoculars, I have a heart rate. I have, gosh darn it, I don't know. If this was my grandfather, and we were uh, on his front porch, he would just sit still for four or five hours and then shoot a gopher. <laughs> That's how that goes. <laughs> but I'm just going to make a bunch of noise in the woods and not see anybody. Time to break out the sandwiches. What track am I examining here? Rabbit? Footprints? There's no way I'm going to shoot a rabbit. Not that I'm not, you know, totally willing to shoot an imaginary rabbit in a hunting game. But there ain't no way I can find one. Alright, let's go back up here. I'm trying to follow the green marker, maybe? We're back in the underbrush. Making noise. I'm below the horizon. I think that's what that middle uh, marker means. Come on now. Take a peek. Visibility's a little better. Can I see anything in my field of vision here? I see birds. Maybe bugs. All right. Well, we're out of the brush, so I guess we could stand up a little. All right, what's this? Old droppings from white-tailed deer. Uh, 
uh, the white-tailed jackrabbit. That's the deer. So this, the green, must mm, aim back to base, I guess. Gosh darn it. Oh, this is exactly what ha would happen to me. <laughs> this is exactly what would happen to me if I went hunting in real life. I'd get immediately lost. I'd eat a granola bar, camp overnight, and then walk out early morning at first light. <laughs> and if I was lucky, I wouldn't get eaten by a bear. <laughs> Oh, another rabbit. We're not looking for rabbits. We're looking for the bigger animals. Ugh. Of course, walking through tree branches is a good way to alert everybody to where you are. All right, let's hide behind this boulder here. Can we see anybody? My mouse sensitivity is really low. Is there a way to, to change that? Um, let's see. Uh, system... Not lodges. Keyboard mouse. Look sensitivity. What's 125 do? That's better. But I think that's aim sensitivity. This is look. So let's drop it down to 110. Board mouse. Take it back down to 100 and well, let's split the difference. 115. Aim sensitivity up to 115. And let's do this. That's a little better. And I don't see any deer. I guess that's why they call it hunting and not finding. You know. All right, what's this track say? Oh, very old jackrabbit tracks. Oh, there's a question mark up there. What's this? I see anybody. Nope. He tracks, but I don't see animals. Alright, well, onward and forward. We'll continue on with our hike. Again, for five bucks, you know, hiking simulator is not bad. Pretty. This part of the map reminds me of the Pacific Northwest. You know. Great place for photography. Get out your old camera. Buy yourself a tripod and take some nice landscape shots. Never directly at the sun, though. Uh, otherwise, you'll blow out your highlights. <laughs> we are making noise to beat the band. Does the noise go down if you walk in grass? Maybe? Take a look through our binoculars. Anything this way? Don't really see nothing. Obviously deer have adapted and evolved over the centuries to uh, blend in with their environments. Looks like there's a a trail marker? Alright, onward and forward. Like I said, we're hunting. We're not finding. <laughs> nice bit of clearing, though. Can't really see nothing. 
That is that is a uh, a trail marker. Well, we'll figure it out. I mean, come on. Take a quick peek around, turn all the way around. We're being quiet. We're in the woods. Hopefully the sound of the air blowing through the tops of the trees will hide us a little bit. All right, what's this? A uh, pile of stones. A written note. Left this note here for someone to find. Whoever you are, walk in peace. Go north to find the closest outpost. You can't miss the curious tombstones close by. Very interesting. Curious tombstones, huh? Lore unlocked. Entry added to your codex. Anything along the railroad tracks here? Do I see anything down that way? Nope. That keeps turning. Anything up the trail? Nope. Nothing on the ridge. There is that, uh, whatever this is. Lookout tower. Used to be fire watch stations, but I think you can do that all by satellite now. Okay, anything along the way in this nice little patch of grass. Tasty, tasty grass. But I guess the deer don't want it. Okay. Right. I guess I could walk along the tr the rails. Pretend this was that one movie. What was that movie that was filmed out here? Stand by me. Don't see anything. Lookout point: Balmont Lake, Balmont Railroad. And apparently the railroad track is a hiking trail. Must be out of commission. The tracks do look a little wavy. Like maybe they were laid a long time ago, but the, the ties seem to be in pretty good shape, so... Let's head up to the lookout tower. I mean, why not? Now, the question is, for me, did I do alright by spending five bucks on this? I guess there's a lot of DLC. I'm not really hunting for animals anymore. I'm just walking around. But I guess if we get to the lookout point, we'll at least unlock some more... What do they call it? Lore? Let's see. Let's stand by this tree here. Stand by the tree. And scan the... Hillside. Nope. Nothing. Oh, a lot of nothing. Nope, gotta stay out of the tree. Well, Doc, Colton, Doc Locke, whoever you are, you got any more advice for me? Not seeing any deer tracks around here. You know, another thing about these giant lookout towers, too, is they become... Well, I don't know if monetized is the right word. What was that? Oh, that. That was an animal that flew away. You can kind of see it way over there. Um, so they've kind of become like Airbnbs. So if you're rich enough and you, uh, you know, have the time and you want to for some reason, you can rent out those uh, watchtowers and sleep in them overnight for two or three days. I'm not exactly sure how it works because, of course, I've never done it. But... I wonder if we're in the Cascades or the Coast Range. There it is. 
uh, 95 meters that way. And the thing about hunting online is, um, or on cam on a, in a computer game, you don't get the benefit of the exercise. Because <laughs> I gotta tell you, your lung capacity will increase if you uh, hike up a mountain here. If this was real life, you'd you know you'd hear somebody going. Ugh. <laughs> trying to trying to climb all the way up this mountain but you know we were doing all right kind of like it there's just no way we're going to be finding animals though i'd like to shoot one before i stop the stream You know, I'm calling the wild, but it ain't picking up my phone. It ain't picking up the phone. <laughs> what if I just text message the wild? <laughs> All right, what's this over here? Looks like abandoned cookout place. Somebody left behind a good stove pot, looks like. Some grill. Fixing up some corn dogs. Fly of a uh, dried out lumber or log so you can uh, start your own fire which you know you really should have a bucket of water or something maybe that's what that is so that you don't accidentally spark any forest fires all right let's climb the dang uh, tower you know even even standing up the dude doesn't really walk all that fast I mean, come on, there ain't going to be any deer up here, so why go so darn slow? Because I have the binoculars out? <laughs> let's, let's get out that handgun. <laughs> oh, this is a sure way to get yourself shot. <laughs> if we can just kick down the door, that will be perfect. Open up! It's some jackass with a gun! <laughs> oh, there it is. There ain't nobody in here. And it's raining again. Nice uh, iron skillet. That's good. Looking for your dream lodge? Oh. What was that? Uh... Contact us. Great deals. Like I said, rich folks. Some water. All right, let's get out our binoculars again. That was four. And we will close the door. And what does this say? Survey. Lookout point unlocked. New locations Belmont added to map. Not only where Hope set up camp, it's also famous for the railroad bridges along the old North Pacific Line. Oh, the OC and R. Out for them if you can in between blacktail hunting, or why not use them as vantage points? I once bagged a whitetail from the Runaki Bridge. This is Belmont Railroad Outpost. This is an unknown location. And this is where we're at right now. This is the written note. We got 200 XP. I don't know how. We haven't done anything. And of course now it's raining. Alright, well. Press M to enter the map screen at any time. Wow, you can really zoom out here. Where the heck are we? Is this somewhere in Washington, maybe? That almost looks like a volcano. What is this? We could go... Undiscovered. <laughs> There's a lake up here. Maybe the lake is where we ought to go. <laughs> Man, I don't know. 
come over here. Can you see anything from up here? Not really. Not in the rain and the fog. That's kind of where we were. And what happens if you come over here? Can you fall down? You can! Alright, let's run down the, the stairs. You know, if it were me, and this was like I was actually doing this, and I had like a week to do it, I wouldn't even bother going all the way up there. I would just set up camp right here by the picnic table. Call it a day. I mean, unless it was raining really, really hard, I guess. Okay. Um, map. We are facing kind of towards the lake. I bet you the rain kind of uh, messes up tracking a little bit. Looks like we hit upon another trail. Our map. Yep. Oh, what's this? What was that? Was that... Well, we'll never know. Almost kind of looked like a seagull. Um, my computer, uh, software probably isn't, like, the greatest. If I had one of them beast mode computers for the 4K resolution, you know, and beast mode internet, you could probably, you could probably tell a lot better. <laughs> I guess there really won't be any animals on the dang trail. That would make too much sense. My binoculars are too fogged up to see anything. Nothing down there. That boulders and junk. Belmont does sound like it'd be a place up in Washington. What's down there? Nothing. Oh. A whole lot of nothing. Oh, we ran into tree. <laughs> we messed up our first shot. This is how hunters get lost. They wander off the trail and they don't know any orienteering or anything like that. They don't have a map. They didn't plan. They didn't tell anybody where they were going. So it takes forever for f people to figure out they're missing. You know, you got to respect Mother Nature, he says as he walks through all that brush. Because she will mess you up carnival style if you're not careful. I do know that about living in the Northwest. You know, don't don't mess with Mother Nature. <laughs> you know, whether it's uh, bears, don't want to bring any food that they could get into. Whether it's just being out at the wrong time of day, in the wrong place, not being prepared. You could really hurt yourself pretty good. Pretty darn good. Alright, let's come over the hill here a little bit. I see anything. I haven't figured out this game. I don't know how to get the animals to, uh, you know, 
show themselves. There's no, uh, you know, tracking like there would be in like an alien movie. More fog. Nothing down there. I'm not even, to be honest, I'm not even seeing a lot of tracks. Did you hear that? Calls are really helpful when locating an animal. Black tailed deer. Alright, do I need to get low? Hit control. Come on, Mr. Deer. Say what you said to me one more time. Okay, come on now. I heard him over here. Are we really going to have to crawl all the way through? No, we will. We will if we have to. Weather can turn bad really quick, too. You think you got all day, and, and you know, you kind of don't. You are fighting the clock. Like, if you got stuck out here overnight and you were not prepared, it was like March or sometime, you would freeze. I don't rightly know when the uh, hunting season is around here. Uh, or a little bin binoculars. I see anybody through the trees. Do not. Oh, Mr. Deer. Um, do I? Let's see. What were my... Nope, not that. It was, uh... Was it this? Inventory? I have lures. Uh... Simple to use. All right, number six. Let's use this. Hey, buddy. I hear him. Oh. Gentle now. Take a deep breath to steady your aim. Oh man, he was right on top of me. Did I get him? It looks like I scared him pretty good. Blood spatter, no her The black-tailed deer are one of the easiest animals in the reserve to hunt. Still, be wary of your noise and the wind direction, as their senses are quite good. Gosh darn it. I believe I hit him, but I don't know where he's at. I believe I hit him, but I don't know where he's at. I guess I should have been using my lures the whole time. Oh, what? No, these are the... Gosh darn it. Is it this way? Did he run off this direction? He came up the hill, and then he maybe ran off away this way. I see cyan. So, that's an indicator of the animal I'm tracking. I think. Come on now. Get up here. 
Run, okay. I think he did go this way. Mr. Deer, I'm sorry to do that, but you are just zeros and ones. You look mighty good in my digital refrigerator. <laughs> How do you reload? Is it R? Yes, it is. A standard game mechanic. Oh, look at this. I think we got him. Bleed, bleed rate very low. Oh, that's not good. That probably means we just we got him in the wrong place. Hmm. He might recover. There's another blood spatter. Oh, I think we got an achievement. We hiked a mile. Right, where would he be? Get on our number four. Do we see anybody? See Rex. See deer. Kind of do not. But it looks like they like this area. Rot. Might be slowing down. I see him over here. He deer this way. Must be kind of tired. Hopefully we didn't lose him. He went this way. Hey, come on now. Here's our deer somewhere. Somewhere near here he's he's run off this way. Now this is how bleed rate very low. This is how hunters really get lost. They put put a little energy and effort into an animal. Don't quite let it go. Follow it off into the middle of nowhere and then boom. They run out of run out of protein bars and energy shakes. <laughs> and tuna fish sandwiches. Alright. Trying to avoid making noise in the trees here. Not really gonna be uh possible, but we're working on it. I see anybody this way. Again, I do not. Oh, oh, oh Mr. Deer. You feller are going to be... Well, you're going to be my, my white whale. He'll examine the track. Prop. He's still running. Looks like he ran this way. There's another blood spatter. And examine track. Nope. Okay. Examine track. Prop. He's over here. We can get a good vantage point if we... Get up to the top of the hill here. Oh, man. 
Is hunting really this tedious? <laughs> it probably is, but man alive. Okay. Looks like I've tracked this deer all the way from from Puyallup all the way out to Spokane. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> From Tacoma to Walla Walla, Washington. <laughs> All right. Well, we put a bullet in the guy, but we didn't get him in any of his organs, so he's going to be the one who got away. And we haven't heard anybody make any more noise. Oh, he's walking. He's walking now. No longer. Oh, we made it to Balmont Lake. Where is that? Our map. Is this it? We're getting close to whatever that question mark point is. All right, try to avoid the tree. Do I see anybody down there? Don't. Wait, who's this? Oh, it's just a trick of the light. Thought I saw something down there. It's the shadows playing tricks on me. All right, examine track. Now he's walking. He's no longer trotting. So maybe that's a good sign. Maybe we can catch up to him. After he got into a car and drove all the way up to Bellingham. Good Lord. He flagged down the motorist. He said, some crazy guy just shot me. Take me to the hospital. Get me out of here. And he's already, he's already long gone. All right, get up by this tree. All right, let's see. Rails. Nope. What is that? Is that something? Came up on the hill. Nope, I do not. Oh boy. I tell you what, this is almost exactly how it would go in real life. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't shoot myself accidentally, that, that's a thing. One thing I hope I'm doing too is I hope I'm wearing uh, something orange so I don't get shot by nobody else. Look at this tree. That is a tall straight tree. You know, the thing about tall trees, when you cut them down with a chainsaw, you got to be careful not to get the old barber chair. <laughs> There's a logging term for you. All right, I'm just going to stand up here. Not going to continue to trot. Oh, he's back to trotting. Where's the wind blowing? Blowing up or downhill? Can't tell. All right. This is probably the nicest part of hunting, I guess, is the uh, is the hike through the woods. I'm pretty sure that's what a lot of the guys say they like doing. Yeah, sometimes it's just nice to be out in nature, man. Oh. Morning call. From a bear. Well, Mr. Bear. I'm tracking deer. Oops. Get up. Examine the track. 
shot. Hopefully he's not going to get my deer. Am I making too much noise? Is that the problem? Old. All right, we heard him again. He don't see me. I don't see him. Maybe he don't see me. Noise detection, yeah. <laughs> I probably just don't have the patience for hunting. That's probably what it is. I mean, it's pretty, but, uh, you know, if I actually had to survive with the stuff I... I shot, and I would be a farmer. <laughs> you know? Hey, maybe I could do livestock okay, but actually going out and shooting a, an animal for food? Don't think I could do it. At least not by myself. Oh, there's the bear again. Mr. Bear, don't you worry. I don't, I don't interested in you. Leave me alone. I'll leave you alone. Oh, of course. Of course we hit... More brush. I don't want to spend like 20 minutes in game, you know, trying to convince an, a digital deer that I'm not, you know. Where? Where do I see this? hear one, but I can't see where the hell I'm going. Well, that little brush noise probably scared him off all the way to uh, California. <laughs> There's my mark marking point. Really do want to get this guy, though. Well, he's walking. Where is he? I think I hear him over to my left here. This animal long stopped bleeding long ago. I feel like I can hear something stomping around out here that ain't me, but I can't see nothing. Wish it would give me an indicator about where the noise is coming from. I mean, is he in the dang trees? I mean, come on. And by in the trees, I mean up at the top. <laughs>
Ugh. Right. There's just no clear line of sight. You know, that's another thing too, probably about being in real life nature, is that our eyes are more sensitive to movement. Uh, especially in 3D. Oh, here comes the rain again. It'll probably be easier to spot some of this stuff in real life than it would be in game, believe it or not. Oh. This is too slow. Oh, tedious. Right. He looks like stalking me. I wonder why people play these games with their buddies. They have something to do and talk about. I mean, hunting on your own, I guess, is all fine and good, but... Most people, from what I hear, use it as a, a chance to camp out, make some barbecue. Now the rain should cover my, my noise, right? Bad. Oh, come on. My sensitivity is still too low. Um... System. System. Keyboard. How's this for sensitivity? 140? Is that too high? Maybe. this way. Is that bear chasing my deer? Oh man. Oh man. Here we go. Keep looking. Keep looking. That black tear dealer is running. Well, we, at least we saw a couple more. You know what? I'm even going to turn up my mouse even more. Still not fast enough for me. Let's go 175 or 6 on both. Okay, 175, 175. I almost shot a bear. <laughs> well,
Welcome the, to the Hunter Call of the Wild, or as I like to call it, <laughs> the the uh, <laughs> the guy who can't shoot for nothing. <laughs> well, do we have a bear license? I guess you don't need one if you're on a private reserve. I mean, don't quote me. Obviously, I know nothing about any of this stuff. Very fresh. Black-tailed deer. Maybe we scared the bear off of our deer, though. Okay, and this... That's a run. Back into the heavy brush. That's another run. Trying to avoid making too much noise. But at this point, I kind of don't even care. It's taking me forever. Oh, maybe this will be better. A clearing? Go around the big tree. Do I see anything down there? Binoculars. More tracks. <sighs> so, essentially I've missed about three out of three shots, I think. Okay, what's this mean? What's that mean? Subsurface depression. Does that mean he bedded down? Okay. <clears throat> Hope I have a... Uh, What was that? Trot this way. Run this way. Oh man, I might have to call this one. Run through here. Well, that sounded like a There's another bear. Hey. Okay. Nothing and nobody. Like I could shoot some geese. I mean, I'd like to, but I don't think... I don't think I can. I'd like to find that dang deer. We've been tracking this deer all over the state. <laughs> Oh, wait, who's this? Feed zone discovered. Ooh, there's another one. 
eating Roosevelt elk very easy. Oh, I lost him. Oh, right here. All right, how far away can I get him? This has got to be pretty much impossible, right? Hey. Now I know that if I hold shift, I take that deep breath. So let's get back onto the... All right, so now it seems like the situation to do, if I'm in my forest camo, would be to tuck in somewhere and then call them to me. You know? I'm not, I think I gave up on the deer that I shot. He got better. He went and saw his local veterinarian and said, help me doctor, I've been shot. Maybe even Colton Locke or Doc as he likes to be called. Maybe he fixed him up. Hey. Got to be too far away. Let's kind of get over here by these trees. If we can. Into the shadows at least. Have another look. They're doing all right. Roosevelt elk. Oh. Hopefully the uh, the eagle won't tell on me. All right, let's have another peek. Okay, we finally found some deer, and by deer I mean elk. <laughs> Wapiti, maybe. Um, if my local zoo is to be believed. Anything over here? We did see the geese on the pond. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Oops. Holy smokes. Moose. That is a big boy. I think maybe we can get the moose. Not with the gun. Not with the shotgun. But with the rifle. We've got to be certain about this. Oh, he's on the move. My heart rate is pretty dang high. Let's just take a minute to calm ourselves. Oh, I think we got him. It's bleeding, so that's a hit. Follow the blood trail to find it. Shouldn't have gone far. Oh, sh criminy. I don't want to keep doing that. <laughs> I want to stand up and run. Dang it. I scared off all the other guys. I got an achievement, so maybe... Okay, vital organ hit just now. I noticed you're after moose. Tough animals, I tell you. 
Be sure to bring the right caliber weapon to bring them down. Oh, and while their eyesight ain't too good, their smell is. So keep your scent and the wind in mind. Okay, that has to be... Look at that. You found a shed. I've already got a big enough collection back home, so I've started selling any new ones I find. People often buy them for handicrafts, you know. Knife handles and such. I once sold a really nice moose antler for 500 bucks. Where'd he go? Oh, don't tell me I lost him. Yeah, that's bear. Where'd the moose go? If you want to stay busy on the road, I'd keep a lookout for sheds. You know, antlers that are shed by the reserve animals. They're rare to find and very popular to collect. Getting your feet moving, I see. Just remember to take a breather before shooting anything. Okay, I shot him. Where did he go? Moose. Walk. Moose. Drinking. Is this my moose? Droppings. Well, all this hunting and so far we've got one antler. And so some dude can make a knife handle out of it apparently. Roosevelt elk. Ah, hunting Roosevelt elk, I see. No, I'm not. Roosevelt's a big <laughs> fella, but its good sense of smell and hearing make it tricky to hunt. They're all tricky to hunt. I had a moose. I shot him. He ran off somewhere. I can't find it. Pretty sure he came this way, but I'll be danged if I can find him. All right, well. Darn it. Darn it all to Pete. Yeah, I hear the I hear the coyote. You'll find coyotes all over the reserve, so they're not the most difficult to hunt. They're pack animals, so they respond well to collars, but they can also get aggressive when alerted. So be careful. I don't want coyote, I want that moose. Oh darn it. I'm not sure what these little markers mean. That's black bear. Be careful when hunting black bear. Not only are they unpredictable, but they also make very little sound and leave few tracks. You can sneak up on one without realizing it. Fortunately, they'll probably notice you before you them and will keep their distance. All right, what is this? I, I'm hitting E all over the place, but it ain't telling me anything. Well, let's see, I've shot two animals and I lost two animals. I shot at a bear, I'm not sure if I hit him or not. And I think I'm done. Let's take a look here. Put out our binoculars again. Nope, oh, come on. Not look at the water. 
Look across the lake. Anybody or anything? Nope. We pretty much scared it all off. I don't know. It certainly isn't this hard to uh, get um, to get zombies. <laughs> Maybe I ought to stick to zombies. Get my scent blown all over the place. I'm sure. Okay, anything over this way? Nope. Coming back to the moose area. Mm. What is this? That is a moose. Moose went that way. Maybe moose went around here. Nope. Oh, moose. Yeah, moose. Is this also moose? Subsurface depression. Maybe the moose went this way. Mr. Moose, where are you, buddy? That's black tailed deer. Subsurface. That looks like that could have been moose. It could have been moose. That's black tailed deer again. <laughs> well, well. <sighs> Blacktail deer warning call. Anything up through this gap? Nope. Oh man. Oh man. Ooh. Anything down there? All right, hiking simulator. Um, complete. This would be a game that I would put on YouTube because there's such long periods in between the action Kind of like baseball, that I would have to edit these things pretty hard. Playing them on uh, a Twitch is interesting, but I guess only if you're good at the game, maybe? Only if you just want to chillax and talk? I don't know. It was a brave effort, a good try, but I think we got to try something else. Anybody in the clearing? That is a no. All right, C. Oh, tab. Nope, not that. Oh, there it is. Track down and harvest your first animal. Harvest an animal. I've tried, Mr. Mr. Colton, I just can't do it. I've failed as a hunter. I've shot a couple. If it was tracked down and wound an animal, boy howdy, I've done that. But that other bit, I just can't do it. Uh, 
Oh, somebody, somebody made noise over here. Warning call. Must be over that ridge. Well, you can't be warning about me. I'm too far away. All right, let's try some of our calls again. <laughs> e. Morning call. Oh, maybe it's because of my scent. Maybe that's why it is. I come up here. I come up here. And what if I come up way up here? Let's try this. Maybe we're going about this the wrong way. Okay, I'm going to sit here. Where I have a good view downhill. I've got a good view of the pond. Got a decent view over here to my left. Decent view to my right. So I'm going to grab out the collars. Now which collar is which? that work? <laughs> Let's take a look at our inventory. Bleat collar. This is a roe collar that will attract both male and female roe deer. Anybody interested in this? Hello? Alright, well, let's try the other one. The... this one. That might get somebody's attention. Hello? Anybody coming around for this? See anybody? Nope. Oh, I maybe hear somebody over here. I hear, I hear him walking around noises. Six. Come on, Mr. Deer. I keep calling, but nobody seems interested.
Like I said, call of the wild, but they won't even take my text messages. I'm going to go back to the lake and try one last time. Ugh, feels like I've been out here for days. Come on. Come on. All right, we're back in Balmont. Balmont. Or Balmont. I don't know how you would say it in French. I don't even know if it is French. Hey. Okay. Have we spotted any animals? Even a goose. I'll take a goose at this point. Nope. Keep track of where the wind is blowing. Animals will pick up your scent easily if they're downwind from you. The black bear. All right. Anything this way? Nope. We heard the bear call. I think there might be one up here. There they are. Hey. Eating very easy. How is that very easy? Is my moose back on that island? I'm going to say no. Okay, let's stay in the brush here. There we go. All right, so let's see. What was that? Was that a warning call? Yes, it was. All right, let's see if we can't control our weapon. Do, 
this bad boy right about dang it come on dial it in there he goes I didn't reload quick enough, but he's in them trees. Dang it. I shot him. Oh, I got him. Where'd he go? I'm going back down the hill. Oh, man. I got him, but I haven't dropped an animal yet. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I don't even know if I hit that one. I shot at him, but I don't know if I hit him. Man, this is a tough game. Oh, which way was that going? Come on now, I'm pretty sure I... Right. We're gonna climb up this hill. We're climbing up the hill. We're making noise. Is there a difficulty setting that I've got it set on? Maybe.
And I've lost him again. Gosh darn it. Rest zone. Maybe this gives us experience points finding these little points here. You know, if the deer are this hard to shoot, how come you're always running into them with your car? I don't get it. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe I've got a rifle and all I really need is a large truck. That'll take them down. Oh, come on. Let's get up this hill. And take a peek. We're going to take a peek up this hill. I've lost all patience. I'm not even bothering to get quiet or walk slow. Probably half my problem, but... I'm trying to at least see some dang animals. Where are we at on the map? Look at this. We are in Mount Leviathan, which I guess is what I was calling this, uh, almost to me looks like a volcano. We found a rest uh, zone, a black-tailed deer, found a Roosevelt elk, like, feeding area, and so we found some things. I guess I need to start heading back. Let's go this way. Okay, dude. Why do you do that? Why do you do that to me? Oh, there he is. Alright, well, we're coming this way. Wind is blowing behind us. It's hitting us in the face and blowing behind us, so... They won't smell us coming if we go this way. Alright. It looks we found some people. You know what that means? Handgun time! <laughs> now wait a minute. Is that something way over there? Is that a rock? That is an animal. Feeding zone discovered. Okay. Get out a rifle. Did we even get him? Let's run over to that boulder. He disappeared behind the boulder. I tried to aim for like the spine or something. But they keep running away, gosh darn it. Maybe I just... Well, not maybe. I just don't know what I'm doing. This looks like a nice area though. Hey. All right. Ran through this area. I don't see any tracks.
Where are the tracks? Alright. It's like they disappear. Hope they're not falling through the map. Oh wait, what's this? Okay, found the track. We're running. We want to catch this guy. Droppings. This is blood. Very low. Lead rate low. Ran this way. Blood. Okay. We're out in the open, so that gives me a little bit more hope. If I can get a second shot on this guy, that would be great. Wouldn't be good for the freezer, but it'd be good for my self-esteem because right now I stink out loud. He's running. Back into the forest. Oh, wait, wait, what's this? <gasps> Did we find one? Oh my goodness. We did it. If you want to get your bearings, there are lookout points spread out all over the room. <sighs> all right, class eight, gender male weight, almost 400 kilograms per type common tracking distance, 194, 190 meters. Difficulty, very easy. Thank goodness, though. Trophy type, antlers, trophy organs, skull. Uh, 83 experience, 537 cash, session score 100. Weapon, Ranger 240, Ranger 2243 with a soft point bullet. Oh, man, flesh, right lung, thoracic vertebrae. Oh, man. We could save this harvest, or we, we can't taxidermize it, it because, well, but let's save it because it is our first. Sorry. Okay, trophy manager, we saved our first, our first dude, and we leveled up. Wow, only after an hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> There's no shortage of ways to earn money as a hunter. No shortage of ways to spend it, either. All right. Well, we finally did it. Oops. Hang on. Let's see. Uh, lookout point tutorial. Let's hit enter. Visit a lookout point. That is not a lookout point, but that's our next mission. And we're just going to run all over the map until we find one. Good grief, that took forever. But it definitely makes me feel better that we found it. What is this? This is not a lookout point. Show me the money. You know that one, right? Uh, what did it say? Come on. Our expedition is far from overfunded. We'll pay you. But we'll pay you for good work. Alright, so it seems like that's a thing you can build. Get out our old binoculars again. Mm, number four. Binoculars. Take a look across here. Do we see anybody? I don't think we do. I think we saw our last guy. But I do believe there's something over here.
All right, man. That took forever. Okay, here's a point of interest. A point of interest we may have missed. Our heart rate's super up. If you run forever, does it uh, improve your heart rate? <laughs> Probably not. All right, what's this? All right. What is this? Hey, you're catching on quickly. We've unlocked an outpost. Fast travel. 100 XP reward. Okay. Oh, we even put a flag up. I can't read what the flag says. Okay, uh, what's this? Use lockers at outposts to buy weapons and equipment. All right. This is our free weapon, the Ranger 24-3, This 223 bolt action rifle lacks the punch to take on big game. Highly useful for extremely flat trajectories and accuracy. Looking to hit varmints at a long range. Okay. Oh no, that w this is what we have. Bolt action rifles, highly durable and built to weather even the most extreme weather conditions. Relatively low recoil. Ideal entry point for anyone serious about putting venison on the table. 78 accuracy. All right. We can buy handguns. We have a, a Focoso 357 Magnum. Uh, defensive sidearm, but revolver hunting enthusiasts can easily fit the gun with a scope and use it to take down small to medium sized game with great accuracy. So probably like rabbit and coyote. Shotgun. So if you're really good at sneaking up on something, you can use a shotgun. And bow hunting. <laughs> you can do bow hunting. Rifle sights. All right. Handgun sights, shotgun sights. I guess there is a lot of depth to this game. Oh, you can get different outfits. We have classic olive green. Backpacks. And binoculars. All right. Um, storage. How much ammo do we have? 42 and 25. Um, we haven't really unlocked anything. All right. What's this say? Please register. Oh, is the basic information. Free farm license number 13. Oh. <laughs> Apparently, we do not have a, a ministry of forests in the Pacific Northwest of, a, of America, anyway. So maybe we're way up in Canada. <laughs> with caution some free maps wonder how often they make it out here all right let's check inside maybe all right if you ever need a place to rest there's a cabin in each outpost i had them gutted and redone last season all right i can't really close the door once i'm inside oh yeah i can 
All right. This shelter can be used to rest and wake up at a specific time by adjusting the alarm clock. The cost for resting increases with each use temporarily, but is eventually reset after a period of time. Cost is 250 whatever these units are. I'm going to cancel. All right, so we've got 713 experience. We're level two now, finally, and we have 1,537 uh, kroners. <laughs> I don't know what that symbol is. Canadian dollars. All right, so I think that's it. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it. It's raining. I like the bear motif on their on their uh, curtains here. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it. It's been two hours. We did hunting. We finally got one animal. We wounded several others. And uh, yeah. This has been uh, the hunter. All of the wild. I might play a little more. I don't know. Anyway, if you do watch this at some point ever, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Good luck and goodbye. Let's go over here and switch over to this thing. Oh, the rain, the rain.